Hello everybody, it is Lexi. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm doing a very highly requested video and that is my everyday curl routine. So if you wanna see how I get these soft beachy waves, you are in the right place and just keep on watching. Before you even consider bringing a hot tool to your head, girl, you better use some freaking heat protectant. Do not skip this step, but also don't use too much because my head, for one, gets super duper greasy if I use too much. Then use a brush to go ahead and distribute all of that product evenly throughout your hair and then grab a clip, a hair tie, something that's gentle and kind to your hair and then go ahead and pull up half your hair or section how you normally would. And then you're going to get a flat iron or a straightener because these curls last four days, you guys, seriously. I'll have the exact one I'm using linked in the description box below, but whatever you have is perfectly fine. Here, I'm straightening the ends of my hair, which I know is so bad, but it really helps make the curls look beachier and uh, kind of tame the ends of my hair. And okay, you guys, try to show me grace while I explain this next part to you, but I take a section usually about three-fourths of an inch to an inch wide, and then I will take the flat iron, close the iron over the section of hair about midway down, and then flip the hair away from me, pull the iron down, making sure to keep it as much facing down as I can. Sometimes it's a little bit tricky because hair wants to come out, but yeah, that's why you see a, a little angle right there. But So I do all of the sections facing away from my face. So when I'm on the left side, I'm flipping the iron left. Now that I'm doing the right side, I'm gonna flip it right. And then I usually leave about an inch out um, at the end, but Literally, this changes every single day. Sometimes I'm lazy and I take huge chunks of hair and I leave a bunch of it out at the bottom. Super lazy, beachy waves. These are a little bit more defined. I took a little bit smaller of sections and that is the great thing about this is you can change it every day. Then, now that that section is done, I'm hairspraying it. Normally, I wait until all of my curls are done to hairspray it, but I guess today I was trying to show off for the camera or something like that. But moving on to my top section of hair, I'm gonna split that into two just so that way I can keep that theme going of the curls facing away from my face. I'm gonna tie it up so it's not in the way. Once again, don't forget your heat protectant. I literally hope you guys never forget your heat protectant ever again after watching this video. But it is the same thing from here, you guys. I am flattening the iron, twisting it away from my face, pulling it down, leaving an inch out at the end. And now that you know how to do this, you know how to do this. You are a pro. You can do this twice a week or once a week if you're good at not showering your hair. I am kind of addicted. I don't like um, greasy hair, but that's besides the point. <laughs> So for both of these top sections, I work back to front, meaning I save my bangs for last every single time. And I personally really like when my bangs have their own separate defined curls. And that's what you see me doing here. And then on the other side, I'm gonna match it. So I'm gonna do front to back. And then once I get to my last piece of hair or my bangs, I'm gonna hold it and make sure that they are even because you don't want two different curls up front, girl. That is so weird, especially when you pull your hair up into a bun, you've got one saggy little curl and one uh, I'm not gonna say tight little curl, but I, I'm gonna say tight little curl. So make sure your curls are even, make sure you're twisting them if you need to twist them, uh, so that way they can set and everything is good and symmetrical. Okay, here's that moment of truth, curling the bangs, and then you're gonna hold it, make sure that they are sitting exactly the same, hairspray the fuck out of everything, and then, oh my God, girl, we are almost done, looking so cute. Uh, to finish everything up, I take Tresemme dry shampoo. This stuff is a lifesaver, and even though I look kinda silly in this clip, I left the whole thing in just so you can see uh, really how much I use, how I use it, how I shake it in, all that kind of good stuff. And guys, we are literally almost done. After I shake all of this into my hair, the curls have had enough time to cool and to set, so I'm gonna brush through them. This is gonna soften them up, but it's not gonna actually pull out any of the curls, which is totally not what you want. And then, oh my freaking gosh, guys, we are almost done. Um, you can totally stop here, but sometimes I like to do a little oil treatment that you're gonna see um, in just a second here. But I'm gonna kind of get the outro started just because I know it ends quick. You are all done with these curls. They can last all freaking week. 
I love these and as they go on they get softer and beachier and they're really 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 so lovely um, yes this is the Moroccan oil that I was talking about. I spray this and I pull it through my hair and it adds a little bit of extra shine. But you don't need this girl because you literally shine so bright like a diamond. That was stupid. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you guys and I cannot wait to see you. Trying these curls out for yourself and feeling yourself. But I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.